Currently working on an 08 International with a Cummins motor in it. International Paystar truck and I'm replacing the oil pan because it is rusted out. Unfortunately, five of the about 30 bolts that hold on the oil pan broke off. You can see there's some broken studs there, 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 and it stinks. It stinks when you break a stud. The question is, what do you do to extract the rest of the stud that's stuck in the block or whatever you're trying to get the stud out of? The best success that I found is with a welder. What I'll do, I'll grab a bunch of bolts, about one size down from the stud that's broke off in there, and then from there, I'll take this bolt, I'll pinch it onto my grounding clamp on a MIG welder, and then from there, I hold this spaced off the broken stud, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, and then from there, I weld the bolt onto that broken stud. The reason you wanna leave some space is so that weld fills in the gap in between the stud and the bolt you're trying to weld onto that stud. If you try and hold it right on there, the weld is just gonna penetrate on the outside layer. It's not really gonna hit inside on like the, the center part of that broken off stud. That's where you really wanna try and get your weld. And then from there, that's what it should kind of look like. It's not pretty, but as you can see for this one, it worked out fine for here. Um, take an impact here and get it off the rest of the way just to kind of show you what it looks like. So there you have it. That's the trick right there, and you just want to try and weld it on there the best that you can. See how that's down a size. It's not the prettiest, but it works. Another tip I'd have, see I missed a little spot right there, but the welds on the other three sides held on just fine. Um, another couple things that I, I do want to mention is after you weld it, let it sit there for you know 20, 30 seconds. Let that heat transfer kind of get up into the broke off stud, up into whatever it's you know threaded into and uh, welding it on there and that heat transfer just helps to, to break it free a little bit. And then also when you go to back it out, go easy on the impact, try and back it out a little bit. And if it's not going, then try going forward, try going in a clockwise rotation if it's a standard threaded bolt. Um, so, you know, go forward, backwards, and then eventually it should work itself free. You know, the worst thing that happens is that it breaks off again and then you just gotta try and weld back onto it again. So, you know, keep trying. That's pretty much that. That's how I remove broken studs, broken bolts. Not a fun job, but gotta be done.